what's going on guys today I'm just doing a little update video um, on mainly the jet skis and everything how it's going to be loaded to go to Florida as some of you may know um, I have the quad out um, just cleaning it up getting it ready we got three more rounds left of racing so just getting this all cleaned up and ready to go we have I believe one in September and two more in October and we will be finishing up the series right now I am third in first by three points um, so looking to finish that up and hopefully come out with the win um, but just cleaning that up to get that ready because I haven't really touched it too much since snowshoe so have to do some stuff with that as far as the trailer uh, last video I did kind of showed our first idea of how we were gonna load these up on the trailer um, my dad came up with some other ideas on how we were gonna load it and how it was gonna be safely on the trailer and secure um, so we think we have it all figured out. We did another test today to see how everything was going to fit. Um, as far as this, it's going to be put behind our 45 foot or 43 foot uh, bus. Um, if some of you don't know, this is our uh, bus that we got. Um, so we're going to be pushing. I believe just over 70 feet with all of this on there. Uh, we have it hooked up to the Cadillac right now because we didn't feel like pulling out the RV just to do a test. But this is kind of our final finished uh, idea that we have. Um, some of you may ask why aren't you pulling the Jeep all the way up to the front of the trailer. Uh, we just have a lot of tongue weight. So we're trying to get as much weight as possible back on the trailer to get as much weight off the tongue. So the trailer actually won't fit. The tires actually won't make it if the trailer's hooked up to the Jeep, even if the Jeep is pulled all the way forward. So we have it disconnected. So it's not even on um, the PVC right here. Or plastic decking whatever you want to call it it's actually a cut out of a 50 gallon drum is just to keep the trailer sliding and not scratching the uh, aluminum trailer so we have that disconnected how we got it up there we uh, have this strap that's hooked to the axle we hook it to the Jeep and pull the trailer with the jet skis on it forward when the Jeep is pulled all the way up to the front then once it's where we want it, we strap down the tires on both sides, lock it in, and then back the Jeep up onto this, which my dad made. It's uh, a U-bolt that goes down through the center of the trailer with some plastic decking, and then a bolt that goes through the bar here, and the bar gets hooked on and this goes back into the trailer hitch so it is hooked up as a trailer it will move if we move the jeep it'll move the trailer with it um but with these tied down the jeep tires will be strapped down when we go um it should be on point with everything um that's not really going anywhere i mean famous last words of anyone who tows anything but I think it's a pretty solid idea. Uh, it fits perfectly between the two bolts tying down the tires and we have a little bit of extra space we could pull the Jeep back because there is a lot of tongue weight. Um, a little bit more than we would like. Uh, we could, if we were hunted to, we could put you know, a motorcycle or something up there to also bring with us. Um, but trying to get as much weight back as possible so 
we're just going to keep that as extra space. But just wanted to do an update video and kind of show how we're going to do it. We're thinking that this is how we're how it's going to work. Uh, we do have a little bit of overhang, so it's a 28 foot trailer, but um, we do have a little bit of overhang. So like I said, this will probably be be around 30, uh, maybe 31 feet. The GTX sticks out a little bit more than the uh, Trix, but overall pretty good. So 30 feet on there, and then 43 on the bus, give or take with you know the hitch and and the tongue of that trailer should be just just over 70 70 feet um so we'll be we'll be long um last year we took the same trailer with the two atvs on it and it fit great the two atvs went in the front all the way up against the bar and it fit quite well uh the atvs went up against this bar right here the jeep went behind it and it fit it fit really well um obviously the atvs are a lot shorter than the jet ski trailer so we kind of had to figure out how we were going to do that um another question i get asked sometimes is why don't you just tow the jeep behind the rv uh we could but it's only allowed in certain states that you can triple tow um coming from the northeast down to florida uh you were not really allowed to triple tow through a couple states so that's why we can't flat tow the jeep behind and then just leave the trailer hooked up to the jeep even though it would be easy and it would be nice, but sadly we cannot do that. So we have it rigged up like this for now. So I'll give you guys some more updates uh, maybe as we come closer. If not, uh, you guys will see the videos when we're down in Florida. It should be a good trip down in the Keys. should be fun with these things. And uh, yeah, we will uh, see you then. And uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.